It is the Keeping It Raw podcast back at you with another video on today. We're going to talk about Jalen Ramsey. But before we do that, make sure you hit the subscription button, subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell so that you'll be notified whenever we put up an upload. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video installment. All right, guys, we're going to talk about Jalen Ramsey. This thing is just going viral, man. This thing is everybody is talking about Jalen Ramsey coming to Detroit. And I'm not going to lie to you. I would definitely welcome Jalen Ramsey to the team with open arm. I know what he brings to the table. He's a six-time pro bowler. Uh, he's a three-time all-pro uh, corner. And he's one of those guys that could make the leap and um, be able to play safety in his latter years. I definitely think the kid is just a football player, and he's phenomenal. And he's not afraid to come up and tackle. And he's not afraid to get handsy with you as well. And uh, Jalen Ramsey, man, he brings a lot of thing, good things to the table, man. Um, I definitely think that this is something that Detroit may take a look at to uh, bolster their defense, even though the Lions could very well take a corner in the draft as well. But, uh, man, I don't know um, how this thing is going to go, man. What Detroit will have to give up to get Jalen Ramsey? Will they have to give up the 18th pick or a second round pick or a third pick? What would they have to do? And then also not only that, Jalen Ramsey wants a new deal from whatever team uh, is going to pick him up. So I don't know what team is going to pick him up. I don't know how serious this thing is with Brad Holmes, but I know what Jalen Ramsey does bring to the table. He's only 28 years old. He'll be 29. Pretty much he's still in his prime. Normally when you turn around 27 years old, that's when you enter into your prime. So he's just getting into his prime. And uh, this guy has been playing some phenomenal football uh, for the Rams. But I think um, because uh, the uh, the cap casualty, the salary cap casualties, is probably one of the reasons why the uh, the uh, Rams are letting him go, will let him walk. Uh, because you know you got to clear you got to clear up your books, just like the uh, just like the Lions did with Michael Brockers, release Michael Brockers, and then you got all of these scenarios playing out right now. You got Bobby Wagner being released to as well by the Rams and everybody in their mama is going to be at the Bobby Wagner. Very solid dude uh, is a great linebacker, man, that you would love to have in your locker room to be able to help uh, mentor the younger guys. And that's something that I really, really love about Bobby Wagner. He He's one of those guys that's uh, good on the field and off the field. And that's what you, you want in your locker room. You want guys that can display that great character on the field and off the field. And uh, definitely he brings that. But Jalen Ramsey to Detroit, man, is just heating up. People are really, really thinking that Ramsey will be with the Lions. I don't know what Brad Holmes thinks about this thing, but it is just crazy, man. I've been seeing it everywhere. Jalen Ramsey to Detroit. Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey. But we'll we'll see what happens, man. We'll see if the Lions um, give up a pick. Because basically it's like they'll be giving a pick back to the Rams. I know the sixth pick overall in the draft uh, goes to uh, the Rams. But the Detroit Lions get that pick. Now, also, I saw this uh, earlier this morning, and it was like kind of crazy because you got Amin Ross St. Brown, who, who's already said, you know, come on over here, uh, Ramsey. We would love to have you over here. And now you and now you got cornerback Jerry Jacobs adding his two cents to it and pretty much saying, what we waiting on, Jalen Ramsey, we can do some great things in the D. My guy, trust and believe that. So now you got Jerry Jacobs clamoring for the talents of Jalen Ramsey to come on the team. Now, if you're Jeffrey Okuda, you definitely got to be feeling some type of way um, because pretty much they these guys are making a pitch. You got your star receiver in Amara St. Brown who's making a pitch to uh, bring over Jalen Ramsey. And now you got the other cornerback who started alongside with uh, Jeffrey Okuda, um, Jerry Jacobs, Saying, you know, hey, what you waiting on? Hey, let's let's do these things. Let's 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 get this thing done in Detroit, man. So definitely, man, it's it's gonna be totally on Detroit what they want to do. Um, I do know that uh pretty much Jalen Ramsey has uh been put on the trade block, so he could be traded to anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Detroit could be one of the, the landing spots that he uh he he wants to go to. Imagine if the Lions are able to pick up two guys like Jalen Ramsey and Bobby Wagner. Man, this defense will have a facelift, man, because you now you got swagger on the team. That's what the Lions need. They need that swagger on the defensive side of the ball. They really don't got that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that they don't got no guys that can't play because we see that at Aiden Hutchinson 
and guys like uh, James Houston can ball. And then you got uh, Pascal who came on and looked pretty decent too as well. Um, but, you you know, adding Bobby Wagner and adding a Jalen Ramsey man would give this team the swag that it needs. And I definitely think that if Detroit is able to get the defensive players they can get to make this defense better, then I think that the Lions will be able to challenge for the NFC North title. I think that the Lions will finally win their first NFC North title, uh, especially uh, with the Lions never being able to get that done since the uh, the history of the NFC North. They have not won it. Every other team in the division has won the North besides the Lions. And uh, I think right now is a great opportunity for the Detroit Lions to finally win the NFC North title. But it's all going to be predicated on getting better and finding elite talent. And if you got to bring in a guy like Jalen Ramsey, you know, you got to do whatever you got to do. If you got to give up the 18th pick overall or you have to give up a second round pick to bring Jalen Ramsey in, then maybe that's something that Brad Holmes will think about. And he may be a Detroit Lion. I don't know. But what I do know is that I like Jalen Ramsey. I do like the, I do like Jalen Ramsey coming to Detroit. I'm not going to even lie to you. Because he's still young. You know, he's not an old dude. Not, and Bobby Wagner is only um, 32 years old. And he'll be going on 33. But the dude is still playing like an all-pro linebacker. He was an all-second team all-pro linebacker. How do you not want that on your team? How do you not want a linebacker that's been pretty much an Iron Man and been straight up balling? You need a guy like Bobby Wagner to come into that locker room and help motivate these young guys. Malcolm Rodriguez, uh, Derek Barnes. I don't know if they're going to bring back Alex Anzalone. Um, we don't know. But this is what it's all about, getting better in the offseason. And if you have an opportunity to get better in the offseason, you do it. You do it. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, guess what you're trying to do? You're trying to get into the playoffs. You're trying to win football games in the playoffs. And then you're trying to get to the Super Bowl. The Lions have never been to a Super Bowl in the Super Bowl era. The closest the Lions have been to the Super Bowl is around, what, 91-92 when they played against the Washington uh, Redskins at the time. Now they're, you know, the Washington Commanders, but they have never been in a Super Bowl. So being able to get that talent on the defense, grabbing a Jalen Ramsey and grabbing a Bobby Wagner and adding them to this team, man, I'm in favor of that. I cannot go against that at all because I think that Bobby Wagner would give give the swag to the linebacking core. And then you also draft you a linebacker, draft you another linebacker to develop, to go along with Derek Barnes and to go along with Malcolm Rodriguez. And I think that you definitely have some guys that can play, even if you want to bring Alex Anzalone back and have him as a rotation linebacker. You could do that as well. So the Detroit, man, they got a lot of things that's cooking, man, and I love it. I love that it's, it's, it's nothing but speculation talk as far as with Jalen Ramsey coming to Detroit because we don't know. We don't know if this is something that Brad Holmes is interest, interested in. And maybe he wants to get another corner from another team that will be uh, less expensive. So I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he wants to go after uh, a Dean from the Buccaneers or a Sean Murphy Button or a James Bradbury. I know he's going to cost because he was – Pretty much an all pro linebacker. I mean, not linebacker, but cornerback this season. So he's going to cost a little money as well. But I like the addition of adding a Jalen Ramsey to the team. And I like the addition of being able to bring in a Bobby Wagner if possible. If you can get these guys to buy in and come play for the Detroit Lions, which you really don't see a lot of people coming to the Lions because let's be honest, the Lions have not been able to build that culture. But now things have been now things are starting to change as of this year. And now you see that the Lions are playing hard. They're competing and they just need the premium talent on that team to get them uh, to uh, where they need to be in 2023. And I think if they add a couple pieces on offense, maybe get your offensive guard and uh, definitely go out there. You're running back, even if it's B. John Robinson or Zach Charbonnet or Sean Tucker. You know what I'm saying? There's guys that you can get in this draft that can help. Even the guy from um, the running back from uh, Minnesota as well, uh, Mohammed Abraham. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe. I'll be back to you with another video. Until next time.